On August 1, 2024, war correspondents announced that Russian troops had taken full control of the strategically important settlement of Krasnogorovka. Even though Ukrainian propagandists still claim that part of Krasnogorovka is still under the control of the armed forces of Ukraine, Western military experts from numerous analytical centers have confirmed the city's transition under the Russian army's control. In particular, a German military columnist and an ardent Russophobe from the German edition of Bild, Julian Rock, said that the strategically important city of Krasnogorovka had come under the full control of Russian troops. The fighting for Krasnogorovka lasted about four months. And Russian troops managed to take control of the southern, central, and northern parts of this city, German military columnist Julian Rock said. At the same time, the German expert noted that the so-called turtle tanks played a key role in capturing this city. These tanks allowed Russian troops to confidently move forward and capture strategically important heights and enemy strongholds. Commenting on the situation around Krasnogorovka, representatives of the Russian military department noted that this city remained the only settlement in the Donetsk agglomeration, which until recently remained under the control of the armed forces of Ukraine. Thus, as of August 1, 2024, with the liberation of this city from the Ukrainian armed forces, Russian troops established control over all cities and towns of the Donetsk agglomeration. According to war correspondents, after Krasnogorovka came under the full control of the Russian army, the units of the armed forces of Ukraine located in this city were scattered. At the moment, the Ukrainian formations are retreating in two directions at once, towards Alexandropol and Korokovo. War correspondents note that among the retreating Ukrainian units, there is also the 80th Airborne Assault Brigade of the Armed Forces of Ukraine, which General Sersky threw into Krasnogorovka to turn the tide in this city. At the moment, this brigade of the Armed Forces of Ukraine is retreating with heavy losses and is trying to gain a foothold on the commanding heights west of Krasnogorovka. We are talking about the heights that run along the settlements of Ukrainsk, Gornyak, and Korokovka. Thus, it is safe to say that after the loss of Krasnogorovka by the Ukrainian army, this line will become the new defensive line of the armed forces of Ukraine in this direction of the front. Meanwhile, reputable Russian telegram channels, citing their own sources in the Russian Defense Ministry, announced the liquidation of former Canadian officer of elite force, Winton Hardy, who fought on the side of the armed forces of Ukraine since May 2022. According to them, a Canadian commando was killed in one of the directions of the Donetsk front. It is reported that a Russian FPV drone destroyed Winton Hardy during an attempt by the armed forces of Ukraine to attack Russian positions. By the way, the death of Winston Hardy was also recognized in Canada itself. In Canada, local journalists called Winston Hardy a real hero, who gave his life for the freedom of Ukraine. As of August 2, 2024, Russian troops have killed tens of thousands of foreign mercenaries from countries such as Poland, Britain, the United States, Georgia, Romania, Canada, and France. At the moment, after heavy losses in manpower, independent monitoring services are noting the outflow of foreign mercenaries from Ukraine. Against this backdrop, the armed forces of Ukraine are forced to recruit poor Latin American citizens, mainly from Colombia. According to Russian soldiers, over the past six months, the level and professionalism of foreign mercenaries have dropped significantly. Russian soldiers claim that they are increasingly coming across mercenaries from Colombia, who do not know how to fight at all, and are used by the Ukrainian High Military Command exclusively as cannon fodder.